Hey everyone, Grace Noah here, and today I will be talking about my modeling career. Just kidding, I don't have a modeling career. But I do want to talk about models who have a disability and inclusivity. As a matter of fact, I got my first offer from a brand deal today. I have always liked clothes, even since I was like six. And obviously when you're six, you don't really have a fashion sense. You put zebra and camo and sparkles and everything together. As I've gotten older, I have really started to mature and appreciate clothes more. In the past couple of years since I've gotten social media, you see all these models and you think, I have to look just like that. I have to be that skinny. I have to have that color hair. I have to, My body has to look like that. Nobody told me this, but I kind of just thought in my head, oh, I'll never get to do that because I'm disabled. There's a trend going around, and it's the hashtag disabled and cute. And there's also a trend going around, which is big companies and brands using disabled people in their advertisements. My opinion on that is that I really appreciate it. Models come in all different shapes and sizes and colors, which is important to remember. In fact, I want to take a time out right now to talk about grows how they feel about themselves. It doesn't matter if you have a disability or not. Every person, not even girl, every person in the world is self-conscious about something. It could be the way your weight, it could be your body, it could be your hair, it could be your skin, it could be anything. A lot of the times, my friends and myself included focus on the negative things about us. We all do. But just remember, there are really pretty qualities about you as well. For me, it's my hair. Ever since I was little, I've always loved my hair. I thought that it was it's something that I can show off and be proud of. And actually, my eyes as well. I've always been told that I have very pretty eyes and hair. Same thing for you guys. Everybody has some good quality, some physical good quality about them, and you can take it and run with it. I challenge you to comment down below what you like about your appearance. It can't be I'm smart or I'm funny. It has to be about your physical appearance. Everybody has something beautiful about them in their own way. There's always something to be proud of about yourself. I have found some disabled models on the internet, and I want to give my opinion about it. This girl's name is Sophie Morgan. Oh, she's pretty. Sophie Morgan was paralyzed in a car accident. Now she lives her life in a wheelchair. You can see that it doesn't stop her from being beautiful and an awesome model. This girl is really cool because she's working on helping brands um, get disabled models in their stores like mannequins and use disabled models like me. This girl's name is Paola. She is 24 and from Brazil and she is very gorgeous. She was hit by a drunk driver, and that resulted in her leg having to be amputated. Now she has a prosthetic one, which is a fake leg. She's modeled for a lot of big companies in Brazil. These models really inspired me, and I wanted to try this out myself. My first look was for the New Yorker magazine. I wore like a purplish New York City sweatshirt with my hair in a ponytail, simple makeup, and white shorts. My shirt is from Gap. My shorts are from Target, and my purse was from Charming Charlie's. They responded, I'm getting a request for a brand deal. And they said, if you, if you have no problem, it's going to be a pleasure for us. Heart emoji. Another heart emoji. So the brand said that they would have me on their page, but I have to talk it over with my dad first. My second outfit is from Seventeen Magazine. I am wearing a Banana Republic shirt that has cheetah print on it and the same shorts as the look before. I wore simpler makeup and I brushed my hair straight. My second look was for Sports Illustrated. I wore a Boomer Sooner jersey and white shorts. I wore some fake eye black and red lips. My mom grew up in Oklahoma, so we have always supported OU. The last look, the grand finale, was for Vogue. Um, if you have not heard of Vogue, wow. But then it is this huge brand, and I wore this dress, which I actually got for a wedding. Um, I was the junior maid of honor, um, and we had an altar, and I curled my hair a little bit, and I wore a little bit more makeup than I usually do, actually. <laughs> and these earrings I bought from Claire's, and they're actually my favorite pair of earrings that I have. They're really pretty. 
One other thing that I want to tell you about my makeup is I used this color palette. This is definitely my favorite um, eyeshadow palette that I have. It's so pretty. I used these two colors. This one's called Labyrinth and Wind. They're very pretty and my favorite color out of these is probably this one or this one. Over it or woke. So that is the makeup that I did for the Vogue shoot. I also did some foundation, concealer, mascara, and some shimmer powder from Nora Mercier. So this was a really fun experience. The main thing about this video is I just want everybody to think positive. There are lots of great qualities about you and that make you special. We just have to try to focus on those. Make sure you go follow my Instagram, the Grace Nova. I will post some of these pictures on there and you do not want to miss it. See you guys in the next video. Bye.